what's going on everybody youtubers gamers welcome back we are back for another yamato adventure but this time we'll be adventuring on the marine ford with yamato she wasn't there to experience and see what all happened so she wanted to see all and meet all the strong guys of the marines so here we are um we could switch it up if i were to switch up anything from these abilities i guess it would be the human mixer I like Squeeze for the ability to break the shields. Um, Human Mixer is good. I like the AOE effect it has when you are in giant mode, where it summons or brings up the bubbles in the ground. <laughs> they have a move called Smooth Criminal. Shout outs to Michael J. Michael Jackson. Uh, oh, that's right, she doesn't have a lot of moves. Yeah. Um, you could do, I guess, two full bursts. You don't really need the refreshment. Uh, Juicy Sparkle is cool. I guess we can try a different super. So let's go with Juicy Sparkle. I like the Juicy Saber because of the Gets Good Tensho feel. So I guess, yeah, the cinematic move is the only move I would change. I will keep the other two. Same skill set. But this time we will... Hmm... We'll use Happy Voyage. If I can find it. There it is. This one sounds so goofy, so for me to be at Marine Fort, it's goofy. Because if I was in a One Piece world, I would never travel here. So, first thought off, you would definitely go and defeat Tashiki. a little bit. Tashiki, do you know who you're do you know who you're trying to slice here? Triple out of here. Alright, so after defeating Tashiki, you definitely want to head to this area. You can either wait for Yamato to mention the mission, or you can go ahead and defeat the giant guy, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Kobe. Try, trying to be a man. Yes, Marines appeared all at once. Yes, let them appear. There should be a mission that pops up, but we have to defeat a certain number of enemies, so you want to go ahead and have all these people stay here for the slaughter. Yes. Y'all are here only to be slaughtered by me. Smoothie. Hands down, the Big Mom Pirates popped up in Marine for it. I don't know how all of them would react. So, definitely with Smoothie, that is a breeze. I will go ahead and get out of our full burst. Now we're going to head on the far, far right side of the map. Going to go fight Smoker. So after, of course, defeating Smoker's right hand... Smoker definitely want to make, wants to make his appearance, and Yamato's going to let you know. I wish Smoker comes back with, you know, him being stronger in the actual anime. We haven't seen him in a while, so it's like, I wonder what he's up to. So Smoker can be a handful if you're fighting him, depending on what character you have. But since I have Smoothie, as you can see, it's relatively easy. I just went full burst and he died. Like, that's insane. So there are no more missions on their right side. So we will head up the middle. We will skip Kobe. I guess we can fight the giant, but there are going to be some more giants to spawn. Yes, that's who you want to defeat. So, Kobe is going to head to fight Yamato, which is fine. Yep, everyone defeated. Now, let's go fight Kobe. 
We can't go fight the passionate soul. Why not? If they don't die, I'll go fight the passionate soul. Well, never mind. We still have time. If it isn't kid. And that was my Y move. Well, you just hold your triangle move. Y or triangle, depending on what console you're playing on. I don't know what the input is for PC. Dang it, I missed the first hit. Let's see what this move is. Not bad, not bad. It was pretty cool. Alrighty, so hopefully, let's see. So since we did defeat Kobe, you know, the Marines, they like to work in pairs. We have to defeat his headmaster, Garp. You know Monkey D. Garp won his revenge, just like he did in the anime, but I apologize if I spoiled, but Garp definitely wants to give us a beating for taking care of Kobe. Hello, Garp. Sorry, but it had to be done, old man. I do love you, though. Wish you was in the game, you know? Wish you was in the game. So knowing Toei, they probably got you as DLC when you've already been in the game in the previous Power Wars. I don't know why they decided to make you a DLC. Good thing we spared this guy's life because we had to use three. We had to kill him while maintaining a 300 hit combo. So there are going to be some more enemies to spawn on this side here. We'll go ahead and just head this way anyway to fight for Hancock. Why not? So Yamato changed the search area, like I said. Alright, so Boa. Sorry, Boa. I love you to infinity, as well as like your says. We'll go ahead and get our full burst back up. Alright, let's make it rain bubbles. Right now, we're just waiting on the giant to spawn right here. There he is. Oh, wow. He died already, buddy. And then a mission will appear where Yamato says, Hey, didn't we just see somebody walk past us? And yes, that was the man himself, Blue No. And he will appear at the Door Door Fruits ability, and you just kill Blue No here before you head on to the left side of the map. So you don't want you don't want to defeat Kaku. You want you want to defeat Jabra. So if they end up getting close together, just try to one away and have Jabra chase you. But if they're together, you definitely do not want to fight Kaku and Jabra at the same time. Because you don't want to defeat Kaku. If you defeat Kaku, it will start the next mission. So Kaku will be enraged. Yep, more marines appear, and it should be a mission that spawns or Yamato wants you to defeat a certain number of marines. Yay, there it is. You definitely want to be careful because like I said, Kaku is around and he is kinda, you know, right here. All right, we'll just do this. I have to tread carefully. No! All right, there you go. All right, so as long as he's behind us. A messenger has appeared, you definitely want to take care of him before he goes all the way over here. So there are going to be more marines to appear here, you just defeat them all, and once you defeat them all, you can just pretty much go back and kill Kaku. 
Yes, make it rain bubbles. All right, Kafu, can you handle this? Let's find out. Wait, in her full burst, she still has to get to Gotensho water style. Oh, just learned something. Now, Rob Lucci will appear, and we just have to fight Rob Lucci. All right, let's take off this helmet. Hello, Mr. Lucci, sir. Let's see, can you handle this? Oh my. Is that fireworks? Water style? Oh man, I think I have a new favorite super. Alright, so Yamato should be changing a search area. No, the person disappeared. So with smoothie, if she doesn't have her sword charged up, then the water that she emits from it will not be big like it's normally like it normally is. So you have to charge up her sword by doing two normal attacks and using your triangle or Y ability. And from here I will have bigger strikes. So let me do one, two, three. Way bigger. Com uh, compared compared to her normal without the water on the sword, it has a smaller AoE. But when you charge up her sword, it has a bigger AoE. I'm gonna wait right here, that way we can try to fight Kizaru and Fujitora in the same spot. Hello, Kizaru. Sorry, Kizaru, but you're the first to go. So Yamato did mention that there is a chill in the air, so we will be going to fight Kuzan. He is over here in his little ice area by all by his by his lonesome self here. Which is pretty cool. I do love the scenery they did here for my boy. He is my second favorite character. Zoro is my first. Kuzan is second, and we have Sabo, and then good old Koski Odin in that order of my favorite characters of the show. Sorry, Kuzan, it had to be done. I must do it for the content. So after defeating Kuzan, we can go ahead and head to this side. Let's defeat these pacifistas. Oh my, yes. Let's charge this up and... We. So, one more. Yes, you hit me, but I was still in my downtime. And you died to my bubbles anyway. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so let's get you on out of here. I want to say we have just a double check. Let's run down here. Just a double check. We have no more missions. I know we have the passionate soul that's up top. Alright, so that is all the missions we have. Sabo, you couldn't rescue. Kuma isn't here right now. Alrighty. So now. There's gonna be some more pacifistas that spawn. We have to defeat Sentomaru. You want to defeat Sentomaru last. At the same time, you definitely want to capture the territories. So we can save this little area right here for last. But in the meantime, we can go capture all the other territories and just come back to this one and make this one our last stop. So pacifistas are gonna spawn throughout the map. Just defeat them. And we'll be on our way back. Let's see, let's break the shield. Next. Also, we do have to capture the territories. 
just like we did in Big Mom area, the little the Cold Cake Island map. We had to capture. This. Well, I think you had to do it on all the maps. We had to capture all the territories at the end. I just noticed that similarity there. Hey, it's Pero Sparrow. He is mad from his beating from the previous video. My brother, I came back for revenge because what you did to me in that last video, I am not cool with it. Alright, let's give this guy a beating. Oh, that's how you feel, Koma? Well, Pastor Fista, that's how you feel? Hold on. Hold on. Mink. 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 Let's make it rain. Bubbles. Ninja art. Alright, come on, Bubbles. Wee. Alright. Weezer. Nice. So we have to capture the middle territory and then we will be on our way. Now, going and fighting the passionate souls are sometimes cool. Just since you, I have so much time, like it doesn't matter if I go now or later. Oh, we can go now since we're right here, but they, they do appear in random spots on the map. So depending on how much time you have, I'm sure if you're playing like me with Smoothie, you have plenty of time. So this is a no biggie for me to just stop what I'm doing to go handle this guy. Hopefully we don't see you in the next video, Parasparo. Hopefully he doesn't pop, it, pop up as Sabo D and want his run back for the third time. If he does, I will find that hilarious and we definitely have to make a meme out of it. What? Did he die? Wait. He wasn't the. Oh, it was two leaders. Two leaders. Gotcha. I'm like, bro, we just killed the leader, but. Nothing happened. Can you all imagine? The Big Mom crew shows up in the rainforest. Just like Kaido tried to show up in the Marine Fort, imagine if the Big One Pirate showed up. Like, bro. First off, the way Oda did it was very smart. I kind of wish he did allow the Beast Pirates to show up. Even though it would have been crazy, right? The reason I, I chose the Beast Pirates over the Big Mom because with the Big Mom Pirates, Katakuri was our first main character to showcase in advanced hockey. As far as being able to see in the future. And if he showed up at Marine Forward, that means Odo would have to have had majority of the Marines to be able to showcase the same level of hockey. Either the same level or some some form of the hey, we're not gonna let this guy Kata Curry just run wild. So he kinda had to wait on the big um, crew to pop up in the scene and showcase what they can do. But the Beast Pirates would have been fine because they're all just Devil Fruit users. Like the only one that demonstrated hockey was Kaido. The others may know a little bit or enough, but they didn't demonstrate it like Katakuri did. So that's my argument with King versus Katakuri. It's like, brother, I definitely think Katakuri is winning it. Like, just based off hockey alone. Like, come on now. Come on. Uh, come on. You all can mention that King has the, you know, the race, the Lunarian race helping him out. But at the same time, I don't know if King is withstanding a bunch of Conqueror's Haki, Haki attacks. I don't know about that one, guys. But, it, but that's besides the point. I definitely will, would have loved to see what if Kaido popped up. Like, what if Kaido actually popped up? Like, did, would he pop up just him? Would King, Queen, and Jack be there? Don't get me wrong, their Devil Fruit's abilities are kind of, you know, a problem. Especially going against the Marines. Because the Marines have only so many so many people to. Well, at the time they had the Seven Warlords, so I would love to have seen how it would have dealt with those big three. But, man. 
definitely would love to have seen that. So this is our last mission after defeating Hintamaru and capturing all of the territories. This is the last mission. And then once you have did all the missions su successfully, then it will trigger the last fight, which spawns in a ton of people. All right, Kainu, can you can you deal with this fireworks, brother? Just die. I'm saving my full burst, and you know this. I just make it rain. Look, I know it's not as strong as Kuzan's ice, but it has to be doing something. There you go. kind is like, huh, huh. I've dealt with ice, not a water. This is nothing. Right. So hopefully we did all the missions. Yes. So Fujitora, Sengoku, Kizuru, and Akainu. Brother, where's Green Door? Probably in Power Wars 5. Or, or, he's in DLC. Hold on, how dare you? I wasn't even going to use my abilities, but now I will. I just wanted to make it rain. And Goku was like, look, I, I did not sign up to fight that big woman over there, that tall giant. I am out. Since Sengoku got out so quick, I was gonna go over there and just, you know, give him a little stomp on the back, but he dipped out quick. And there it is, everyone. That is my playthrough through Marine Ford as Yamato goes around meeting all the high-ranking officers in the Marines. And there we have it. That is your playthrough with Smoothie. As you see, all the missions are complete. Um, if you go through the same mission, just like I did in the video, you will definitely complete all the missions. Uh, depending on how fast you're able to clear some of the bosses, you know, you can go and fight some of the special people that pop up throughout the time of the playthrough. But if you cannot clear them quickly, then I do not recommend it. Unless you have the time. But that is, that concludes this video. Like I said, in the comment section, do leave a character you would like for me to use. And if there's a certain map you want me to use them on, do let me know in the comment section. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.